As a teacher, I've always been interested in how to develop mathematical talk within my classroom. And I see language as the glue that holds all of that mathematical learning together. Having a toolkit of vocabulary, sentence stems and oracy strategies gives pupils the ability to express their mathematical thinking and then take part in really rich maths discussions. Discussing maths can then help to make things visible allowing teachers to have a better insight into children's thinking, whether they have a deep knowledge of a concept or whether they have any misconceptions. This can really then help with planning next steps in learning. Well, there are lots of ways we can include discussions in our lessons. For example, asking children to work on problems and tasks together can prompt collaboration around concepts. When children then work together, they can compare strategies and ideas with each other. As teachers, it is important to provide children with the time to discuss their thinking. In order to elicit these rich mathematical discussions, we must pose carefully chosen questions. Reasoning question stems engage all learners. My personal favourite question to pose is, what do you notice? As it gives an open opportunity for all pupils to make connections and interpret the mathematics. Effective discussion in a maths classroom goes beyond just instigating more talk. More talk doesn't mean more effective talk. We need to help children to understand that maths isn't just about getting the right answer, it's about exploring ideas, spotting connections and relationships, observing patterns and analysing strategies. Maths is so much more than getting the right answers. But in order for children to be able to explain their thinking, we must consistently model discussion strategies so children can replicate them. By adults modelling the thinking process, this changes the emphasis in the classroom and it supports children to do the same. This can also help children to feel success and give them the tools to keep going even when they face barriers and challenges. By concentrating on the process rather than the answer, it can improve children's mathematical motivation and confidence. Pupils need to develop their listening skills in order to take part in productive mathematical discussions. So teachers need to model effective listening by showing a genuine interest in children's thinking. This develops a culture of listening to and valuing each other's responses. And we need pupils to listen to not only the teacher, but also their peers. A strategy that is having a great impact across schools that we're working with at the Yorkshire Rhinos Maths Hub is the ABCQ model. This is a set of sentence starters that help children to structure their responses. These are, I agree, I'd like to build, I'd like to challenge, or I'd like to pose a question. These sentence starters can really help discussions move from being a ping pong back and forth interaction with the teacher and an individual pupil to the conversation being passed around the room purposely between their peers, almost like a game of volleyball. So a top tip for promoting effective mathematical discussion would be to give thinking time. This makes such a difference. We've seen time and time again when pupils are given the time to think about their responses first before discussing with their partners, that their engagement and confidence in their input increases. Supporting children to have an effective mathematical discussion does take skill. And so it's essential that teachers have the opportunities to engage with effective professional development in this area.